Welcome back to the channel guys. In today's video, we'll be discussing Mark Cuban's enormous fortune and how the world famous entrepreneur made his billions. Here's Mark Cuban's insane net worth explained. Net worth. Most of us may recognize Mark Cuban from ABC's successful reality show Shark Tank, but he's so much more than just an investor or media personality. After decades of a highly profitable business career, Cuban has become one of the most renowned and successful entrepreneurs in the world with a current net worth of $4.6 billion. This has allowed him to splurge $19 million on a beachfront mansion in California, not to mention his 24,000 square foot residence in Dallas. Cuban is also the proud owner of a $40 million Gulfstream V private jet, which he purchased back in 1999. At that time, the purchase was labeled as the largest single e-commerce transaction. Now coming back to the all-important question, how did Mark Cuban build his $4.6 billion empire? Let's find out right now. Beginnings with Broadcast Mark Cuban was only 12 years old when he first started doing business by selling garbage bags to save up for a pair of new shoes. Later, he shifted to delivering newspapers and selling stamps and coins. After completing his education at the University of Pittsburgh and Indiana University, a young Mark Cuban moved to Dallas, Texas, where he initially worked as a bartender before securing a job at Your Business Software, one of the earliest PC software retailers in Dallas. Since he'd worked as a salesperson for years, the aspiring entrepreneur had learned a lot about computers and networking, which allowed him to create his own company called Microsolutions, which made as much as $30 million in revenue. However, Cuban later sold Microsolutions for a $2 million profit and moved on to his next venture called AudioNet, which became Broadcast.com in 1998. He started his internet radio company with two other alumni from Indiana University, Chris Jabe and Todd Wagner, and thanks to their brilliant minds and consistent efforts, Broadcast.com made an impressive $13.5 million in revenue. Broadcast.com is no longer around today, but it's the venture that launched Mark Cuban's billionaire status. In 1999, Yahoo purchased Broadcast.com for a whopping $5.7 billion. The Dallas Mavericks Currently, Mark Cuban is the sole owner of the NBA's Dallas Mavericks, a team that's valued at over $2.4 billion. But back when he bought the team for $280 million in 2000, the Mavericks had an underwhelming record of winning only 40% of their matches. Unlike other NBA team owners, Mark actively took interest in his team's performance, which is why his takeover had an incredible impact on the Mavericks. They won the 2011 NBA Championship and continued winning more than 69% of their games, not to mention the team generates nearly $300 million annually. It's safe to say that he's the leader they needed, and in Cuban's own words, leaders don't look backward to condemn what has already been done. They look forward to create a better future. Unsurprisingly, Cuban sports businesses expand far beyond the NBA. He's currently a bondholder of Zufa, which is UFC's former parent company that promotes mixed martial arts. Since 2015, Cuban has also invested in the Professional Futsal League and an esports betting company called Unicurn Inc. Shark Tank Mark Cuban's popularity as an investor grew significantly after he joined Shark Tank Season 2 in 2011. Since then, he's been an integral part of the investing panel, eventually becoming the richest shark on the hit show. In total, he's invested at least $20 million in 85 deals on Shark Tank, with his top three deals valued at $1 million each. Aside from making money from these investments on the show, Mark earns at least $30,000 per episode per multiple sources. This puts his direct Shark Tank earnings at a total of $870,000 for Season 5, $904,800 for Season 6, and $942,152 for Season 7. 2929 Entertainment As mentioned before, Mark Cuban's business empire includes a variety of investments from sports to entertainment. In 2002, he, alongside Todd Wagner, founded an integrated media and entertainment company called 2929 Entertainment. One of the company's most prominent subsidiaries is Magnolia Pictures, which has distributed and released films like The Hunt, I Saw the Devil, and 13 Assassins. Since 2003, Mark Cuban has also owned a chain of 58 art house movie theaters called Landmark Theaters. Stock Markets and Tech Startups 
a major chunk of Mark Cuban's net worth has stemmed from his stock holdings. In 2019, for instance, his Amazon stock holding was worth $1 billion. Since 2014, he's also owned $17 million worth of Netflix stock. Over the years, the Dallas Mavericks owner has also invested in a long list of tech startups and software companies like Ice Rocket, Red Swoosh, Weblogs Inc., and GUI Media Inc. It's also no surprise that Mark is a longtime cryptocurrency investor. He's not only invested in Dogecoin, but also in Ethereum, NFTs, and various kinds of blockchain companies. Well, that's a wrap for Mark Cuban's insane net worth. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel with the notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any more of our latest videos going forward. We'll see you again soon, but until then, take care and goodbye.